The Pokemon world may seem very peaceful, but this is simply not the case at all. The Pokemon world is in fact filled with Pokemon that are very destructive and can go from tearing down cities to destroying an entire forest. Today, I'm going to be counting down the top 5 most violent Pokemon, but this isn't a solo job. What's going on everybody, my name is Cyber Nightmare, and today I am here to help Luke count down the most horrific and destructive Pokemon. Indeed. And remember guys, this is only based off of our opinions, so don't act like some Tumblr feminist in the comments. We like all of these Pokemon too. Just because a Pokemon is violent doesn't mean it's bad or that we dislike it at all. In fact, it makes it even better. Just a side note, since legendary Pokemon are known to have special powers, they would easily take up all 5 slots. I mean, Groudon and Kyogre almost ended the entire world by themselves. So Scott and I have decided not to include legendaries so that we can get a little more creative with the list. Looks like we have kept you waiting long enough, so let's rock! When I say the phrase, Japanese monster, what giant green lizard comes to mind first? I was referring to Godzilla. And what Pokemon reminds you of Godzilla? I'm losing brain cells over here. Anyways, I was referring to the Great Tyranitar, with a huge attack stat of 134 and a special attack stat of 95. This green giant will be able to destroy cities with just a mere hyper beam, the old-fashioned Japanese style. The number 4 spot is actually specific to just one episode of the anime, otherwise this Pokemon is nothing to bad, right? This Pokemon is in fact Tentacruel. In episode 19 of the Pokemon anime, local Tentacruel are upset about new buildings and hotels being built in Waterside City, so what do you think they do? Uh, sit down and have a calm meeting where they try to negotiate to the contractors of the buildings? No, they don't try to negotiate it. Instead, these giant Tentacruels, and I mean giant, I mean, these things were for some reason as tall as skyscrapers, yet their size in the Pokedex is registered as 5 foot 3, but I digress. These immense monsters begin to rip the city apart, one tentacle at a time. Luckily, this is just a one-time thing with the tentacle being violent. Or is it? With tentacles as long as theirs, these jellies surely have had to strangle some innocent surfers in the past. Creepy. Okay, forget these wimpy little jellyfish. What are you really scared of when you go to the beach? Getting a sunburn? Okay, okay, I'll give you that one to you. Always gotta apply that sunscreen, kids. But anyways, we all have that fear that a sharp-toothed, fast-swimming shark will attack us when we're at the beach. And though the number of shark attacks a year is extremely low nowadays, with the US averaging only 19 shark attacks a year and a fatal attack only once every two years, sharks are still violent. They just suck at getting to the humans. That's why the number three spot goes to Sharpedo. Sharpedo already has a super fast speed stat of 95 base points, but with the speed boost ability giving it even more speed after every attack, you're going to have a little trouble escaping these jaws. It also gets moves such as Crunch, Thunderfang, and Ice Beam, so nothing will be escaping this fish. Luke, you know I'm only 13. I could be his next target, I don't want to talk about him. Sorry bud, but how will I make all that YouTube money without this video? Sorry, but you signed up for this. Now read your lines. What do you mean, signed up? You just handed me a script, put a gun to my head, and told me to read. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> read your lines now! Oh, uh, um, yes, of course. Uh, the runner-up spot goes to uh, Hypno. We all know the meme of Hypno being a pedophile. I mean, it literally took a girl into the forest in, um, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Not to mention how countless Pokedex entries confirm this even more, talking about how a Hypno once took away a child that it hypnotized. Even if Hypno isn't a pedophile, he still has the power of hypnosis, which means he can put anyone to sleep. Scott? 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 I'm awake. What number are we on? Oh, that answers my question. So what Pokemon can be more violent than Tyranitar, Tentacruel, Sharpedo, and Hypno? Well, the answer is a bit more complicated than the others. The most violent Pokemon is Alakazam. But why? I mean, Alakazam isn't anything too pretty, but why is it so violent? Well, it isn't necessarily that it is violent, but it has the potential to destroy the world. 
Sorry, I guess I have to bend the spoons. I mean rules a little bit. That pun literally makes me want to die. Pokédex entries state that Alakazam has an IQ of over 5,000. Do you realize how smart that is? To put that into some perspective, Stephen Hawking and Albert Einstein have an IQ of around 160. Alakazam's is over 31 times that. With that amount of intelligence and psychic powers, Alakazam would be able to destroy everything in just a few seconds. And that's gonna be the video. Remember that this is just our opinion. Be sure to leave what Pokemon you think are violent in the comment section below. And make sure you go over to Cyber Nightmare's YouTube channel and drop him a sub for some awesome Pokemon content. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you all later.